It was basically doing videos of things that had nothing whatsoever to do with the song. But that was the time, it was early MTV and uh, it, it worked amazingly in terms of success. It saved me doing maybe five years of hard touring and of course MTV spread like a virus around the world so mm. a friend of mine was uh, having some strange drink in it with a chief in Borneo in the jungle and there was a post to me on his, <laughs> his hut wall you know so it tended to get overground a bit and now uh, how important are the videos to, uh, well the only way they're gonna get me to do this is by waving significant money under my nose because it was uh, you know, it's it's just not what I grew up to do. I'm I'm a you know writer, singer, musician, or whatever. But I think you know we'll have to do them. It's a YouTube generation now, so yeah. just to let people know that we're still alive and kicking. So what are you going to be doing? Well, I don't know. I don't think I'll be getting her out of mothballs. No. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, I, you know, the, the, one of the fascinating things about about your career and, and, and long careers is that, as it were, the nature of the job is always changing, not yeah. because you're musicians and writers, but because the way the market relates to it yeah. changes all the time. Well, I think one of the reasons I've been able to last so long is I've focused on songs. And the only time really uh, we got involved in the fashion aspect of image was, you know, that time, the video time there. It just got, you know, we ended up dressing like mm. Christmas trees. You kept the hair though. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, fortunately still blessed with a full, full head of Yorkshire hair. 